Welcome to another episode on our channel. Today I'm going to start an episode on um, basically adding to my medieval knight set. So I have three medieval knights, two red ones and one black one, black outfitted one, two red outfitted ones. I have five female Vikings and three medieval male knights. So I wanted to add two to get it up to five, even Stephen, between my female Vikings and my male knights. So I want to do three red medieval knights, red outfitted ones. I have two already, so I need to ju just do one more red knight. And I have one black outfitted medieval knight, so I just need to do one more uh, black medieval knight. And I kind of want to do the, the red ones with younger males and the black ones with older males because the one black medieval knight is an older gentleman. So I, I think that'll be a nice match. So today I wanted to do um, go through the process, the journey of creating a, a black outfitted medieval knight that's unique from the one that I already have. So let's talk about heads first. Uh, I'm just gonna show you a few heads and, and tell you what I think they are. This one is a dragon head. I painted the hair to make him look a little bit older. He's a little glossy. I didn't do anything in terms of the glossiness or anything, just painted the hair to, to make them a little bit older. But you can kind of tell it's a dragon knight because the neck is so short. Um, another uh, dragon knight is this one. The necks are basically about the same size. Now, this is Brad Pitt. I repainted him except for the eyes. I haven't gotten around to the eyes yet. Uh, but he was pretty pale, and I wanted to give him a little more darkness. Um, but you can tell they're dragons because their their necks are so small. They're going to fit on dragon bodies. Dragon bodies are slightly smaller than uh, the other one six scale bodies, just slightly. Um, so so these will work with dragon uh, bodies. Now, if you look at a different, a more recent head sculpt with a neck, you can see the difference in terms of how far up the neck goes compared to these other two. It may be a little subtle, but it's still, it's, it's higher up. Um, now, even though this one is more recent, it does have an attachment. Uh, but if you put one of these figures ear to ear, with it and you forget about the attachment, uh, you're going to see that the necks are, are fairly about, they're really close. So this is probably going to fit on a smaller body as well, um, even, <laughs> even with the attachment, because these will use attachments as well. Um, so smaller bodies uh, because of the neck size. So that's just something that can help for future reference. I'll put him away because he has the attachment. Hard to keep him balanced on the table. You, sometimes you're going to get really long head sculpts, long necks. Uh, so here's the dragon, smaller neck, dragon, smaller neck. This is a newer head sculpt. This is a newer head sculpt, but look at that neck. <laughs> it's like, you know, it's way long. Probably gonna have to shave that one down uh, to get him to look normal on anybody just about. Yeah, yeah, this is probably somebody making this head and just happened to make the neck this long. I, I made the mustache and put it on him. I, I kind of see him as being a circus guy. Eventually I kind of want to give him a circus look. Uh, but right now, I'm going to focus on medieval knights. So he's out of the picture. The dragon 
guys are out of the picture, especially the one without any eyes on. And I don't think I'm going to use an Asian <laughs> for a medieval knight. So let me show you some other heads. Um, let me let me start with heads that have no necks. These could work as well, but you'd have to either have a body that already has a neck attached to the body. It's it's part of the body, or you get what I call a universal body where you can get a short neck attachment for one of these guys, you know, that already has a neck, a short neck attachment, or with someone who doesn't have a neck, you get a long neck attachment that'll fit on a universal body, or you get a body that has the neck attached to it, period, all right? I'm not gonna use someone who, uh, <laughs> It's so unique, and this is the Wolverine. You know, I'm not going to use him as medieval knight. And, and I, I can't even use him even if I decided to keep him with a helmet on because the helmet's not even going to fit. <laughs> that hair is just, you know, too far out. So he's definitely gone uh, from the picture. Uh, in terms of, again, neckless figures, I'm not going to use this guy because uh, this is Wesley from Princess Bride because this doesn't come off. This mask does not. I mean, you could take it off, but uh, you're going to have problems. <laughs> you know, it's the, uh, I think there's going to be spacing uh, that'll be visible where the mask fits into the face. So this is not going to work. And Wesley himself, without the mask or anything, maybe he would work for a younger you know, one of the red knights, but I don't want him for the, uh, for the black outfitted, uh, medieval knight. So I'll put him off to the side for maybe, uh, one of the red knights. Um, here's another necklace. This is Henry Cavill. He might work. Um, but I don't know. I kind of want someone who has, you know, a beard or mustache or something like that. So I I don't think I would use him. So I think I'd just put him away. Uh, here's another necklace one. Uh, this is Matt Murdock. I've already uh, made a custom of Matt Murdock uh, with, you know, the Daredevil civilian attire, the cane and everything. Um, I have an extra head of him. I, you know, if I was going to use him as a medieval knight, he's not like a favorite head sculpt of mine. I probably would put a, a helmet over, over him and just leave him that way. <laughs> if I was going to use him. So I'd rather have the person showing their face for this black outfitted medieval knight. So he's probably out of the picture. Um, I have, uh, Ryan Reynolds, but I think I might use him as Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> uh, so he does come with a neck. He already has the attachment on him. So yeah, it would fit on a universal body. And, uh, yeah, I, I don't see using him as a knight. I, I see him using him as him. Uh, this guy has kind of a, I think he was in prison break. I can't remember his name, but he really has an intense look on his face. Very intense. And he's younger, no beard, no nothing like that. So, uh, you know, he has the, the neck and the attachment. Mm, I think I'm going to pass. Maybe for the younger knight, I don't know. But he looks kind of, Maybe too dark. I don't. I don't know yet. Maybe a possibility. Wesley and this guy. Uh, this is uh, another necklace guy. Uh, Asian. So I'm just gonna move him over here. I have a warlord set of three. Might make them five down the road. 
We'll see. <laughs> anyway, um, so I'm basically narrowing it down to two head skulls. Uh, this is Vigo Mortensen, um, although he kind of looks like Chris Christopherson as well, the singer. Some of you may know him or may not know him, uh, but he has that look. His face seems a little too wide to me. Uh, when I saw the head sculpt, it was unpainted, and then I had it painted, and then I realized my mistake. I mean, his face is too wide. So I really, you know, he has the beard. He is a little bit older. I just don't know. But he is a possibility. Mm. It's just that I wish he was thinner, you know. Um, but he's a possibility. And then I'm back to this guy. This guy who uh, I was thinking about doing a steampunk character with. And then I opted for uh, Robert Downey Jr. for that one, uh, which I thought was the best choice in the end. But I think he would look good as a medieval knight. So these are the two heads I'm thinking about right now. And of course, I have all the stuff that I need for... Uh, for the outfitting of a medieval knight uh, black outfit. I've got the chain mail. Got the chain mail for the footwear. I've got uh, brown gloves. These happen to be um, fisted. They could hold a sword. They're identical, except for different hands. I've got an uh, outer covering with this symbol on it, which is the same as the other black outfitted knight and the red knights, same symbol, just different color. I've got the, the outer robe. And then I'd have to think of accessories. And uh, we'll, we'll get to that eventually. So this is this is my beginning journey with adding a black outfitted uh, medieval knight and um, and I'm, I'm just going to walk you through the journey like I've been doing with some of the recent episodes because some of you um, have expressed an interest in learning more about customizing so maybe if you get a little peek into my head and what kind of goes through my head and how things kind of um, mutate and that sort of thing. Maybe maybe that'll be somewhat inspirational for you and maybe is enough that kind of encourages you to go in this direction. It certainly is more economical to build your own figures uh, than to buy um, figures that are already prepackaged. On the other hand, um, prepackaged figures are figures that maybe you just fall in love with and want to do. But you can do both worlds too, if you're interested. Anyway, so this is my beginning journey. It's going to come down to, so far, anyway, in my head right now, between one of these two heads, and it's going to be a black outfitted medieval knight. So episode one, I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen. If you have, consider giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel. In the meantime, everyone, please have a great day.